Hello, hello, Forrest from Sevierville, Tennessee again. This one's gonna be more about just the battery. Just this 10 kilowatt LG Chem backup battery. Uh, what can I say about it? That's what it looks like. It's heavy as hell. They put it on the wall. Looks good. It's quiet. It sounds like it would be a great option. Maybe not as big as I would probably like for somebody who has heavier use as just a backup option. It might, it might be a good option, but, um, I've not had a lot of luck. So I bought this system last year, about the same time when I lost all my power this year, they have just now the day after it went out last year, finally put it back on the wall. It ran for about three months. Uh, it would, Serve the purpose of the house in a very a very low usage day like spring, you know, fall when the temperature is not too high. It would serve for covering most of the power in the house through the night. You know, I have most of my things turned off at night, like the water pump for the aquarium and things like that. So the battery would kind of ride it out through the night and take care of the nighttime because it charges pretty fast during the day. Uh, it would be nice in the summer to have more storage because most of my, a lot of my production on a seven kilowatt system is just going back to the grid and I'm losing it, which again, when you need it the most, okay, that sucks because you're just losing it. Today it's producing, my power is out again. Uh, a year later, I have been out without power for over 24 hours and this is supposed to work. As you can see, it's on right now. Power is going into this battery, but due to uh, overload error and no power in the house, this is not running the backup panel, which it's supposed to do. This is supposed to be hooked up to this panel right here. Um, I don't know why this isn't focusing, sorry. There you go. These are the items I told them to hook up to, to back up. They have the DIN, the living room switch, living room something, and a well. And then there's also this den area is where my aquarium is. Just a few items that I want to run when there's no outage. All I need is a few items to run. So you keep this aquarium on. But it's been 24 hours. I said amazingly these guys have not froze to death. They're still bobbing around in here. So I've lost them all the last two years as it is. So, And then a couple of switches in here should run. So that's the plan. I'm sorry, this is not focusing out. It looks, the video won't focus. But, um, <clears throat> so it's on the wall again. Battery's about $10,000 through the company. Now you can get it online, it seems, for a lot less. So I, I don't know how much of that's a markup, how much of that is included in hookup or whatnot else, what else. But my total cost for this system was $33,000. I like the system, just not, doing what I need it to do as of now. So, but good luck with yours.